this tutorial, we're going to look a little bit more at reporting, so how to produce individual flock reports. Uh, look at quick reference lists, also the SIA progeny reports, and the U performance summary. So some handy information for Signet clients. Uh, we head to those through the reporting section, so up to reports, down to flock report, and then if we scroll down, we get to quick quick reference list. So if I click on that, I'm currently logged in as an, an admin, uh, but I'm logged in as, as Ed Brandt, who's uh, one of my team members. And uh, we can quickly see information that we can produce for a quick reference list. So this is the ideal list to take out into the field. Selecting the dates of animals that are of interest to you. So if I wanted shearlings, then I'd make those 12 months earlier. Um, I can have males, females, castrates, or all the lambs in the group. And I can have them selected by flock book number order, index order, whether it's the first or the second index. So I think we'll have uh, ram lambs in index order. If I run the report, then I can have Excel outputs of that data. I can click on those and it will produce me an Excel file. Or I can go to the uh, customized PDF report that you can see here. So a very simple list. It hasn't got all the traits on, but it's got the main ones that you need. Uh, for taking out into the field or talking to ram buying customers. So that's your quick reference list. If you needed to get hold of the breed benchmark, then again, if you go to the flock report, scroll down to breed benchmark, uh, then you've got a range of breeds here to select from. But if I click on Hampshire down, uh, then again, it will produce me that benchmark in a number of formats. Uh, and I can just click on the button to get hold of that. So two very simple reports that uh, you can uh, produce in real time and use for your clients. Two reports that are of more use for when you're actually making breeding plans are the, uh, the SIA progeny report. So if I scroll down to progeny report for sheep and click on that, um, I'm then looking at progeny over a fixed period of time. So this is going back for, for the last 10 years. It starts in 2010. And if I click on that for sires, then I can see all of my sires listed. It's a big report, so it will just take a moment. And again, I can have Excel outputs, but I'm going to click on the PDF because that means I can show it to you on the screen. And this shows you all the RAMs you've used over time, sorted in index order, and the number of progeny that they have. So the things I like to see are sires used over multiple years because that's very important for dealing with changes in management uh, between years. That creates a really sound mating plan and also a sort of an upward trend with the most recent sires being those of the highest genetic merit. That probably means you're making quite fast rates of progress if you do that. So that works really well for sires. Um, if we go back, so again, I access this through reports flock report drop down to the progeny page. If I go back, you can actually run it for dams. If you've got an absolutely massive flock, um, then that's probably crackers and it will melt the system. But for a, a smaller flock, that will work reasonably well. Let's see whether it's going to run. Yep, it's going to run for Ed's flock. And so I can click on a PDF and that shows him the genetic merit of his ewes and the number of years over which they've lambed. So uh, if you wanted to, you could have a look at that and uh, see the number of lambs they've produced for you. A more useful report, so I'm going to go back to reports and down to flock report and scroll down to you performance summary is this one. And I know a lot of my maternal breeders really like this report, uh, certainly the, the uh, Dorset crew, part of Centurion. If we then select uh, females within a certain time period, so if you've got a really, really big flock, then you might want to restrict this to just a certain number of years for it to run. For large reports, um, it, it will be more challenging to run uh, for large flocks, I should say. But we can run that. Uh, I can sort it on terminal sire index. I can actually sort it on any of the breeding values of interest to me. So if I'm particularly interested in uh, scan weight uh, or muscle depth, um, uh, or the, um, the the maternal index, then then I can do that. Um, there we go, maternal index. But I'm interested in the terminal sire index. Whoops. So we select that from the top, and uh, 
I'm going to set that to run. So this is a big report, drops the data in the table, which isn't very useful to interpret. But if I click on produce report, then I get rather a nice PDF. So it'll tend to start with the oldest use, I suspect. I'll probably put them in, in number order. So here's a U that Ed's had for a number of years. Here's her date of birth, index, accuracy value, sire, index, accuracy value, dam, index, accuracy value. The sire that she'd been mated to each year, his current index and accuracy value and date of birth, whether she had one lamb and whether she reared it or whether she had multiple lambs, then each of the lambs listed, their sex, their index and their accuracy value. So a phenomenal amount of information, particularly for these older ewes. You can scan down that. You can see where matings have worked particularly well. You can see where you've used the same ram over several seasons. In this example, I think Ed used a different ram every year. So he's still trying to find the perfect match. Um, but a really useful uh, piece of information in terms of the U performance summary and a lot of information that's available to you. So that's a very quick overview of some of the reports that you can find under the flock reports that you can run for your flocks. If you need assistance with any of those, then just get in contact and we can always run them for you and uh, send you a PDF down the line. Thank you.